Hello and welcome to another Advent Devotion from Hope Lutheran Church. We're continuing in the book of Isaiah today in chapter 11 with another very familiar prophecy. We're going to hear in this how the Messiah, Jesus, brings peace. Not just an absence of war, but peace. Here's what it says. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide disputes by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth, and he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and bear shall graze together, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. Peace. Not just an absence of war, but peace. We hear about that in Isaiah's prophecy. Jesus comes to bring peace. And when he comes again on the last day, this will be fulfilled in full. No more of this man versus nature. No more of having to fear wild animals. No more uh, war, but complete peace. Peace on earth. <laughs> Goodwill to men. That's what Jesus comes to bring. And so we, we rejoice at his first coming. That he came so that that perfect peace can be established in full when he comes again in glory. God's blessings. Have a great day. I look forward to spending more time in God's word with you again tomorrow.